Hey guys, so I'm here with my first haul today and I'm so excited because I never buy books. I just feel like they're too expensive for me, so I finally have some, so it's really exciting. Um, three I bought from Barnes & Noble and then seven my dad gave to me because he is obsessed with books and so he gave me seven that he thought I would enjoy and that's where I am today. I'm in his library. So yeah, sorry about the weird lighting. You know what? You can help me with that because if I get 50 subscribers by like August 28th, I will get a camera. So help me out here. We, we need to fix this situation because it's not working for me. It's not working for you. Let's fix this. So three from Red's Noble first which are the three I'm most excited about because I picked them out, obviously. The Time Traveler's Wife, I have been, this has been recommended to me time after time. So I thought I'd pick it up and I'm really excited. I haven't seen the movie, which I'm happy about, so I will definitely see that after I read the book, so excited. This one, I love the cover. It's so plain and like, it's just like, here's a cover. Here's the lime green cover. It's The Perks of Being a Wallflower. And I have no idea what any of these books are about. So I'm just going to tell you the title and move on. So sorry about this one. It's tiny, which is exciting. John Green's Paper Towns, which I'm also excited about because I read The Fault in Our Stars. And I, of course, loved it as well as every other person who read it, and so yeah, I am assuming this is good. Um, I've heard about it, so who is the real Margot? We'll find out. So those are the three I picked up today, and then the seven he gave me today are coming up. So I'm going to run through these really fast because I don't want this to be a long video. Um, Thirteen Moons by Charles Frazier. And I think this is like Native American based. Um, an orphan is sent on a journey through the Cherokee Nation. So, yeah. I mean, I'll probably read this a long time in the future, so I won't get to that one very soon. Okay. I do not like politics. I couldn't care less. But. Um, I'm really interested in this book by John McCain, who obviously ran for president in 2008. And it's called Why Courage Matters. You know, I kind of liked him. Politics aside, I don't know what he wanted to do with the country or anything like that. But I knew that he served in the military, and I have high respect for those people. So I think he was like a prisoner of war. I'll find out. So I'm excited about that one. And my dad said that I would really like it, so... I'm excited. Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. I think this is about the Holocaust, probably. No idea what it's about, but I'll get to it soon enough. The Zookeeper's Wife. A war story. This one, actually, I'm really excited about, surprisingly. After their zoo was bombed, Polish zookeepers managed to save over 300 people from the Nazis by hiding refugees in the empty animal cages. I don't know if this is true or not, but that sounds awesome, and I cannot wait. I think... True Life Story, yeah. So, yeah, I'm actually really excited about that one. The more I read it, like, read the back, the more excited I am. This one my dad said I would like the most and it's called East of the Mountains by David Gutterson, which is weird because I don't think it sounds that, I mean, I don't know. This man finds out he has cancer, and so he goes to the American West on a journey. So, you know, I don't know anything else, so moving on. I'm, in, I'm like really hyper right now. I just said ice cream, which isn't a good idea. Kite Runner, classic, I have not read yet. I just looked over and my dad has two other copies, which is ridiculous. I read A Thousand Splendid Sons and I loved it and I'm really excited to read The Kite Runner. So, I mean, it's going to be good. You know it. Okay, the last one is another classic that I have yet to read 
and it's The Alchemist by Paolo something. Y'all know this book, so it's really tiny, and it's about, like, life journeys and all that jazz, so I'm really excited for it, and, yeah. We'll see how these go. I don't know which one I'm going to read next, but I'm really excited that I now have books, because I was running out, because I was reading through all of them, but expect a, what do I do? Book review soon. I just finished Bossy Pants from Tina Fey, and so I'm really excited to talk about it because she's hilarious, and that book is hilarious, and I can't wait. So I hope you guys enjoyed my first haul. I hope I wasn't too spastic for you. I'm sorry about that. Sometimes you just can't control it. I'm like jumping off the walls right now. So yeah, I'm going to go. That's my cue to go. But I hope I gave you guys some ideas, and if you've read any of these, Please leave me what you thought about it, or if I should waste my time reading it or not. Um, most of them I think are pretty good, so I'm excited. Keep in touch for some book reviews on these coming out soon. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye!